it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with a Walmart grocery haul for the month of August, and I will also be sharing my August meal plan at the end of this haul. So to get started over here, we're going to be going on vacation with the family and doing some fun uh, cooking and things together. So I bought some of the foil pans for that, just to make cleanup a little bit easier, as well as some paper plates. We hardly ever use paper plates, but we thought we would do that for a vacation. I needed a bunch of bread for just regular bread uh, for the first part of August as well as for making sandwiches for the family. And then we needed some frozen veggies. So I got a couple packs of frozen broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot mixture as well as broccoli florets. Those are uh, veggies we use all the time. And then some frozen um, corn. I'll be making my breakfast tater tot casserole. So I picked up some red and green bell peppers and a couple 18 packs of eggs. I needed some extra eggs for some of those bigger family meals. I picked up a family pack of Colby Jack shredded cheese, as well as a half gallon of milk. And I picked up a spray container of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter spray, and three pounds of the Jimmy Dean sausage, as well as a pound of butter. We'll be making a lot of sandwiches, so I picked up a couple of the oven roasted turkey breast, some ham, some roast beef, and some chicken. We also got four packs of the fully cooked bacon. And then in the back, this has been one of my favorite snacks lately, plus the whole family just loves it. This is the Bold Party Blend of the Savory Chex Mix. These are family size bags. So I thought we would bring a few of these along with on our trip, as well as some for here for the rest of the month. This is again, just a nice thing to set out for the family to snack on. Then also for sandwiches, I picked up some sliced cheeses, some sliced provolone, sliced Swiss, medium cheddar, and pepper jack, and some fruits, uh, little fruit cups, a couple of diced peaches, and some mandarin oranges. Also got a box of fudge brownie mix, and a couple packs of lunch chips to bring with as well. This one is the classic variety, and this one is the flavor mix with a bunch of fun selections here for chips. I was out of beef rice aroni, and so I picked up four boxes of that. And also some different uh, sandwich spreads, some light mayo, some honey mustard, regular mustard. And then also um, we thought we would try out this Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. We love the regular Chick-fil-A sauce and this looked like a fun one to try out as well. And then for that tater tot casserole, it's going to be a, either a double. I'm either going to make two of the tater tot casseroles or one big giant one. And so I needed a nice big giant bag of tater tots. Then we needed some treats for the dog. These are his favorites, the little marrow snacks. So we got a couple boxes of those. And then I've been going through a lot of rice lately and we're nearly out. So I picked up a bag of our favorite, the Golden Star Jasmine rice, a 20 pound bag of that. So not a ton of groceries for this month which is okay. We will be doing a lot of summer type cooking and we have a lot of that already on hand in the fridge and the freezer and the pantry. We will also continue working down our freezer and pantry and rotating through some of that so that we'll be ready to be able to put away our big fall stock up haul that I will be um, working on towards the end of August and I'll be sharing that with you at the beginning of September. Every fall I do a big pantry stock up so be sure and hit subscribe so you won't miss that coming up here at the beginning of September. So not too long for that. So that is our grocery haul and besides a few extra items, uh, fresh items from produce and dairy and things like that, we probably won't need much else for the rest of August. So now I thought I would go ahead and share with you my August meal plan. I missed July's meal plan. I often do get really busy during um, the summer months and we tend to just make things really easy um, around here for dinners. So we did not really have a plan for July's meal plan, but I am happy to get back to my meal planning. It makes things so much easier to have them planned out. So here's my August meal plan. On Monday the 1st, we're having lasagna roll-ups. On Tuesday the 2nd, we're having taco soup. On Wednesday the 3rd, we'll have leftovers. On Thursday the 4th, we'll have a creamy ham noodle casserole with veggies. On Friday the 5th, we'll have fried rice with ham and fruit. 
and on Saturday the 6th we'll have a chicken pot pie bubble up. I will actually need to pick up some canned biscuits too to make um, a couple of the bubble ups that I want to make throughout this month, um, but I will do that when I grab my produce. On Sunday the 7th, we'll have chicken divan uh, casserole with garlic bread and raspberry bars. On Monday the 8th, we'll have a lemon tuna linguine with broccoli. On Tuesday the 9th, we'll have a taco potato casserole with corn. On Wednesday the 10th, we'll have leftovers. On Thursday the 11th, we'll have zucchini fritters fresh from the garden with toppings. And then on Friday the 12th, we'll have a garden fresh pizza, also using up some of that delicious produce coming out of my garden right now. And on Saturday the 13th, we'll have meatball subs with fruit. On Sunday the 14th, we'll have barbecue pulled pork sandwiches with coleslaw and blueberry cobbler. On Monday the 15th, we'll have salmon loaf with zucchini and baby potatoes. On Tuesday the 16th, we'll have a Southwest chicken casserole. On Wednesday the 17th, we'll have leftovers Thursday the 18th, we'll have a goulash casserole. And on Friday the 19th, we will also have leftovers. Our casseroles tend to last us a couple of nights. On Saturday the 20th, we'll have chicken with rice and veggies. On Sunday the 21st, we will have Hawaiian haystacks. On Monday the 22nd, we'll have tuna souffle. I'm going to try that out. I've never made one before, but my grandma used to make them all the time. So tuna souffle with a fruit salad. And on Tuesday the 23rd, we'll have a taco bake. On Wednesday the 24th, we'll have black bean burgers with fruit salad. I'm going to try to make those from scratch. And on uh, Thursday the 25th, we'll have leftovers. Friday the 26th, we'll have chicken soup with bread. And then the 27th, Saturday the 27th, we'll have chicken soup leftovers with bread. On Sunday the 28th, we'll have an old-fashioned barbecue. Um, Barbecue is something that is very similar to Sloppy Joe's. This is my great grandpa's recipe. So I will be making barbecue for a family dinner with different side salads, different summer side salads. And on Monday the 29th, we will have salmon with baby potatoes and veggies. And on Tuesday the 30th, we'll have a pizza bubble up with fruit. And then Wednesday the 31st, we will have leftovers. So that is our meal plan for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my Walmart grocery haul and meal plan for the month of August. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.